I never believed I would want to return to the city. There I was nothing, a thief, less than a dog. This was my opportunity to become a man. Chief knows everything about the border. He was there when they placed it after the war. As an officer, he was supposed to take care of us. Welcome to the perimeter. This is what you're going to be looking at for most of the year. I was a fool to think that we were only guarding the area. There is something beyond it. Jones and I never caught a glimpse of other humans. But still, I could hear them. Your task is to maintain the perimeter. The barriers must be in good shape at all times. If you find a place where the fence is not intact, you will report it to me at once. How long is the fence? That doesn't concern you. Chief kept the maps for himself, so it was no wonder that me and Jones ended up wandering aimlessly in the woods. Jones was raised as a member of the guard. He never questioned our mission, but I knew we should have fled the first chance we had. For heaven's sake, keep your medicine with you and take it every day. Start the patrol. There are traces of war everywhere. All forests have been burnt down to the ground, and every building is only a pile of rubble and dust. The patrol routes were in bad shape when we arrived. I wish someone would remember that it was me and Jones who opened them up again. There is no wildlife to be seen. Jones told me once that it's due to radiation and toxic waste. It could be true since I can smell the stench lingering near the ground. Even now, it's too silent. I guess it says a lot about the perimeter when they give guns to criminals like me. Should we turn back already? Chief said we have to go further this time. Why is Chief never on the patrol with us? Why do we always have to do everything? We think too much and ask too many questions. Well, I don't... <laughs> Did you hear that? This has been a dreadful journey from the beginning. Even Chief had to admit that our equipment was not meant for such freezing temperatures. But at least next to the border, it was warmer than anywhere else. Ever since the first day, I could sense the place having an effect on us. In the city, you can hear rumors of people getting sick. Some die while on the patrol, others after they get back home. The medication Jones gave us should prevent poisoning, but it doesn't seem to work properly. He admitted he didn't know what he was giving us. I 
hate the fucking noise. Well, why do you think we have the guns? If you know what the noise is, could you just please tell me? I know they were talking about me, always behind my back. Chief knows something that he doesn't want me to know. Of course, they don't believe me. They are so much better than me. I can see through their lies. This is a conspiracy. They can pretend that the noises aren't real. They can all pretend that there isn't anything behind the perimeter. At first, you could only hear them close to the border, but now I hear them everywhere. Whispers, footsteps, mechanical heartbeat. It's breathing. It's alive. I am being strangled. Slowly but surely, we will all die. No one listens to me. The air tastes like metal, and I cannot breathe. Everything became deranged and weird. I was so wrong about them during the spring. I thought we could be friends with Jones. He used to be understanding towards me. Chief, on the other hand, always made me feel like an outsider. Chief never wanted me to be a part of his team. I can always feel him watching me, judging. In his eyes, I'm just a criminal in a uniform. Can we please have a break? I don't feel so fine. Take your medicine. I'll go see a little further. Just wait here. Don't leave me behind!
He's a sick man. He doesn't have the strength to fight against me. I can see it from his eyes. If I give him the opportunity, he will shoot me like a dog. Where's my medicine? How the hell should I know? I know you have more. You emptied his pockets. Yes, but you shouldn't be taking more than one. I feel sick. I promise you'll get your medicine tomorrow. I already asked help from the city. can still end peacefully. I just wanted to take the medicine. Turn around, slowly. It has been a long time, Walter. Edgar? I hope you understand. I'm not in the position to save you. So, why are you here then? Last time we met... You wanted my help, Walter. I'm in a big mess, Edgar. There are... False accusations, even lies. That is true. But you know me better than anyone else. You have created a huge mess. Now, tell me everything about the experiment. It's the only way I can help you. I thought I, I had everything in control. You both understood and accepted the risks when you signed the contract. But this time it was different. You didn't tell me everything. Convince me, Walter. Let's begin. Rivers was nothing like the usual test subjects. I handpicked him from the depot. He was a lowlife, a minor thief. I knew no one would care if he went missing for a year. I told him he could get his sentence erased, and he was keen to get his citizenship back. He did a good job enduring the spring. Me and Jones were both very close to quitting the mission. We got lost twice and merely avoided starvation. Rivers didn't complain. 
As much as I know, he thought he would become a soldier for the guard. He took it like a test. So, our test subject never had a clue about the intentions. He seemed smart for what I heard before you left. Rivers was genuinely scared. Me and Jones both used it against him. We manipulated his thoughts, told him all those legends. I suppose it was not the first time. <laughs> they are always scared. Rivers really thought that there is something beyond the border. We convinced him that the perimeter was important. I had a more straightforward plan this time. Jones played his role as a medical officer in giving me time to make observations. After a few months, it became clear that Jones was even more scared than Rivers. Do you understand how scary it is to be there with him? He's hallucinating most of the time. He says he's hearing noises. Good. We can amplify it. The dose is already too much. Jones had it all figured out. I thought he was not suitable for his job. He was young. Too young. Continue. He said Rivers would cause us problems. He wanted to leave. He was very close to telling Rivers everything. I had to threaten him with a court-martial for trying to sabotage the experiment, so he stayed. During the summer, Rivers became more and more suspicious. It was really unnerving to observe the changes in Rivers' personality. Same symptoms as before. No. This time was different. His hallucinations were much stronger. His basic functions degenerated rapidly. It's all in my report. The substance made him finally lose his mind. It happened within a few days. I, I increased the dose by only... Only two milligrams, and you should have seen him. I had to force Jones to the patrols. I'll go see a little further. Just wait here. Please, let's end this now. This is too dangerous. What could he do? He doesn't even have ammunition. We are near the breakthrough. Okay. 
At least you did not kill him. How could you screw this up? Everybody is whispering about Jones, and I had to run around telling lies to save our asses. It was this close. I know, but it was a minor setback. Ten perfect operations. I have new ideas. Please new stop, Walter. Tell me how the experiment ended. After burying Jones, I tried to contact headquarters. They said it would take three days to get to our location. Rivers started to have withdrawal symptoms and, and I thought he reached for his gun. But he did not have any bullets. No, only blanks. It's a standard procedure. That's all I have to say. Can we make a deal? Thank you, Walter. Now I have everything we need. Take your hands off me! Edgar! Edgar! Goodbye, Walter. Speak. It's done. Now there's nothing you can take from me. Your brother did his part. You are free to go. You know what to do. something.